Hey, it's Rob. I'd like to welcome you back to another episode of A Look at the Book. This is a very special episode of A Look at the Book, or at least it's special to me because I'm a huge fan of this book. Um, love it very much. It's called Riffs Chaos Earth. What is Riffs Chaos Earth? So if you're familiar with Riffs, <clears throat> if you're not, uh, it, do a Google search because <laughs> it could take a long time, but I'll give you the gist of it. It's far future, apocalyptic. Uh, the world has been <clears throat> turned into a wasteland for the most part. The ley lines have flared back with energy. Uh, rifts open up at nexus points and dump all kinds of demons and vampires and all kind of just crazy monsters you can't even imagine onto the earth. They change the landscape of the planet. It is hell on earth. Well, uh, in the current timeline of Rift, Rifts is um, 109 PA, post-apocalypse, and it is, you've got all your crazy gonzo over-the-top, you know, psychics and magic, practitioners of magic and power armor and everything you can imagine. And those of us who played Rifts over the years uh, and, and enjoy that storyline and that, that uh, game, for what it is, uh, all we knew for a long time was that it was far future and there was an undisclosed amount of time in the past that something really bad had happened that had caused the ley lines to flare up and all magic to return to the world. And uh, these Rifts opened up and it caused a massive apocalypse. So... <clears throat> excuse me, a few years later they put out Rift's Chaos Earth. It is a self-contained game so you don't have to have any of the other Rift's books to play it. Um, it does recommend some of them for certain things if you want to use that but that's completely optional. You can play the game with just this book. And it gives us the backstory, what actually happened. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and spoil some stuff for people who don't know here. On December 22nd, 2098, the Great Cataclysm happened. Now it does give you a little backstory about what happened leading up to that point. But there was a uh, small nuclear war, basically. Some warheads went off in a fight, I believe it was in South America. Uh, but a, a, a ton of people were killed, and it was one of those situations where, you know, just so happened to coincide with every, all the stars being in alignment. And when people die in rifts, even if they don't know how to tap into it, they have PPE, potential psychic energy, and they, re, they release all of their potential psychic energy upon their death. All of the psychic energy releasing at one time uh, on a ley line just caused it to flare up. Um, the ley lines, you know, they, they started energizing again. They had pretty much depleted over Earth's history. And uh, where one would intersect with another one was called a nexus point. And rifts would open along these ley lines. And all kind of monsters <clears throat> and things started spilling into our world. Uh, of course, these uh, ley lines opening up like they did were causing... Uh, massive amounts of damage and destruction and death and more, uh, you know, death on a large scale, which released more PPE, which fueled these ley lines even more. And they just, you know, in a matter of minutes, they crisscrossed the globe. Whole sections of uh, environment were yanked out, placed in other places. Um, the, it, it was literally hell on earth. So from that point on, we enter a 200 plus year dark age. Nobody knows exactly how many years it was, <clears throat> but it's assumed it was about 200 years before mankind, or what was left of mankind, began to crawl from the rubble and try to rebuild. However, they were no longer the uh, top of the food chain, as it were. There were all these different monsters and demons and things all over the planet that had to be fought back. So uh, when they did start to rebuild, a new calendar, uh, PA, post-apocalypse, was established. So year one PA. 
and uh, th for the next hundred years it was mankind trying to rebuild um, and in the current rifts timeline I believe we're at 109 PA so 109 years after that so let's skip back to December 22nd 2098 that's when the cataclysm happens well, that's what Chaos Earth is. Chaos Earth is a game where you play after the Cataclysm going into the Dark Ages. And it's really, really good. I have I have always loved it. And if you even know about Chaos Earth, why would you maybe want to get this other than it's in a cool hardback now? Well, uh, the primary reason for me was not only was it Chaos Earth and it's in a hardback, so I wanted it, but... <clears throat> it also contains 30 pages of additional material pulled from issues of the Rifter and uh, from over the years, which could be rather hard to hunt down if you don't have them, and placed in this book. So it was more material in one place, and it's great. I really like it, and I can't wait to show it to everybody. And if you like Rifts and haven't tried Chaos Earth, you might want to pick this up. Uh, if you already have Chaos Earth, you might want to pick it up anyway just because it's a cool hardback and has additional information in it. But without any further ado, let's take a look at the book. Alright, so here we are. It's a nice, big, beautiful hardback. 190 pages. And look at that beautiful art on the inside cover. The original does not have that. This is a new piece of art much of zombie and mecha zombies about to tear a glitter boy apart pretty amazing now for the most part the inside of this book is just like the original uh, it the art does look a little sharper uh, and it was signed by Kevin survive the chaos thank you Kevin uh, we have our table of contents in the beginning uh, Again, this book is just laden with fantastic line art. Talk about apocalyptic rifts, uh, the world on its own, existing source books you might want to use, and we start with the history of the calm before the storm. Uh, Earth, December 21st, 2098. It tells you what's going on. It tells you about the uh, Northern American Alliance, NEMA, the Northern Eagle Military Alliance, and the last days of the Golden Age. And then day one, December 22nd, 2098, and everything that went wrong, and the some more great art there sh depicting the apocalypse. Uh, the origin of chaos goes into day two. Just some really, I got to tell you, this is some of my favorite uh, fiction that they have put out is in this book. Uh, more apocalyptic art. What's going on December 24th, December 25th. December 23rd or 31st uh, New Year's Eve nobody's celebrating that's for sure uh, then we get a little section about hell on earth you playing the hero standing tall uh, Armageddon Christmas Day blues this is fantastic this is a story uh, that starts talking about one of the main characters here is a uh, lieutenant general Lindsay Sawyer and it starts out with her Staring out the 73rd floor window of uh, a skyscraper in Atlanta and watching it burn in the midst of all this chaos. And it, it's a great piece of fiction. Uh, then we get into the role of NEMA, the Northern Eagle Military Alliance. And what they do, um, we get more background on Lindsay Sawyer, including stats. Uh, Nema, Heroes and Chaos, and then we go into uh, Occupational Character Classes or your OCCs that are available. So the first one being the Chrom uh, Chromium Guardsman, which <clears throat> years later, in current Rift's timeline, will be known as the Glitter Boy. The Nema Silver Eagle Pilot. The Nema Armored Sentinel, so you have robot pilots here. The Soldier and Peacekeeper, NEMA Field Engineers, uh, NEMA Fire and Rescue, 
uh, intel agents, military specialist, para arcane, and demon and witch hunter OCCs. Then we have the Nemo volunteer militia fighter, and that's it. You will notice that there are no men of magic, uh, OCCs, no full on uh, uh, major master psychic NPC or OCCs in here, and uh, that's because in the beginning uh, we didn't have any of that. It was mainly just humans with guns and power armor trying to fight all this stuff back. It actually takes some time after the rifts being open <clears throat> before humans start developing powers. And you do have an option in character creation to uh, randomly roll to determine if you have some uh, psychic powers but that they manifest, but it's not a, a full-on OCC. It's just attacked on to your character. So we have uh, NEMA equipment and weapons with the great line drawn firearms and stuff that they always do. I'm not going to go through each one of them. Just you can see them. They're great. And if you have this book, the paperback version, it's nothing new. Um, this is just the, the, the images are a little sharper and cleaner in this print. Uh, NEMA body armor. And just look at that. You've got the regular peacekeeper armor, and then you got, let me pull it over here. Look at that firefighter armor. That is, that is primo right there. That is awesome. All right, so, <clears throat> then we have vehicles, hover cycles, bikes, hover platforms, uh, ATVs, APCs. We have robots and drones. Combat Hounds, Pup Scouts, Spider Probes, Nemo Robot Vehicles, you've got the Bulldog. You have the Mastiff, and then you have the Big Dog, which is the Super Mastiff. Power Armor, you have the Chromium Guardsman Armor, or the what will be known later as the Glitter Boy Armor. And then you have the Gun Buster, it's an all-purpose workforce. The Silver Eagle uh, armor, which is uh, precursor or early precursor to the, like the Samus flight suits. Some more great line art of the apocalypse hitting the planet. <clears throat> and then we get into the game mechanics, which I'm going to just flip through, speed through, because we don't need to go over all of those in this. It's rifts, but without mainly without uh, magic or psychic powers. And then you have your skills section. Now, I'm not going to read all the skills. I'll just tell you what uh, groups there are because each one they're broken into categories. You have com skill list, uh, communications, domestic skills, electrical skills, espionage skills, horsemanship skills, mechanical skills, medical skills. Military skills, physical skills, pilot skills, pilot related skills, rogue skills, science skills, technical skills, weapon proficiencies ancient, weapon proficiencies modern, and wilderness skills. <clears throat> and then we have a chapter that tells you how each skill works. I'm just going to skip right past this. Then we enter combat. It tells you how to do combat with uh, starting with hand to hand. Uh, going through that to ranged combat. That's, this whole section is in the missile combat, explaining missiles. You have a chart for all your missiles, their range and damage they do. And let's see. Then we have adventure ideas. And again, these are just adventure ideas. They're not full on written adventures. These are kind of more like the hook, line, and sinker thing that Kevin likes to do. Um, Nema missions and encounters. Um, you have humankind's last bastion of hope, innocent lives, uh, defending strategic locations, recovery of strategic uh, facilities, fact finding the hard way. Uh, you just standard sweeper missions, sweeper teams, and extermination teams, search and rescue and recovery, rescue ops from collapsed buildings, uh, morgue patrol, graveyard haunting, running the gauntlet. 
uh, Chaos Earth and Nema Assignments and Adventures, uh, a more smaller defined version of that list. And then this is where the, the original book ends. This is also for Chaos Earth. It talks about the uh, book Creatures of Chaos, Rise of Magic, which I have. is really good. Chaos Earth Resurrection, which I don't have, but I used to. I need to get that again. And Psychic Scream, which has been on pre-order, well, pre-order forever. It's not, they haven't finished it. But uh, <clears throat> eventually that will be the book that handles psionics. So we get the bonus material, which we get 30 pages of. And uh, one of the things that's really great about this version of the book is if you don't have Creatures of Chaos or you don't have any of the other Rifts books that have monsters in them, this adds some monsters to use in your Rifts game. Um, it doesn't, like a lot, like the original one just had the rules and you needed to use monsters from the Rifts main rule book or other Rifts world's book, world books or get the Creatures of Chaos book. Uh, which is also fantastic, but I like that this is in here. This was pulled from the Rifter, and it gives you some monsters right out of this book to you, so you don't have to have anything else. The bonus material starts with Blue Zone Demons. Blue Zones are what they call the Ley Lines in the Time of Chaos Earth. Uh, you have Blue Zone Demons. You have Lesser Demons, the Blue Zone Moths, with some cool art and all of their right up on them. You have Child Terrors, which is horrific looking. Concrete Men, which look kind of like your uh, rock golems. A Demon Will-O-Wisp. Puddle Wraiths, that is nightmare fuel right there. Good God. Uh, greater Blue Zone Demons, you have Bone Pigs. Hollow Giants, these things are horrific. I read those last night. Mosquito Demons. And then we have another section which adds additional optional material uh, called the Army of Scorched Earth. And this is a group of humans that's kind of a fake army, but they are led by a madman and they work as an opposition to Nema. But the backstory is really, really good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. So we start out with um, a couple of pages of backstory uh, talking about the Army of the Scorched Earth and Thaddeus Rhodes, who is the guy that leads it, and uh, exactly just how crazy he is. And we get full-on statistics for him. And you get <clears throat> the normal rift statistics for United States Marine mechanized specialist OCCs and how to set them up. And then you have Weapons of the Scorched Army of the Scorched Earth, which I'm not going to go all into. It's just a bunch of weapons and armor you can use. And then we have Adventure Ideas for the Army of the Scorched Earth, which are pretty cool as well. I don't want to give too much away for those who haven't read it because this is new. And then the book ends with <clears throat> an advertisement for the new hardcover editions of most core rule books. You have a hardcover edition of the 30th anniversary book for riffs game master's guide book of magic uh riffs adventure guide they also did hardcovers for uh palladium fantasy hardcover for supernatural or beyond the supernatural uh heroes unlimited and then the final page is exploring the megaverse where they just talk uh, i'll give you a little paragraph of uh, blurb about each of their games and then we end with another copy of that fantastic art of that glitter boy fixing to get owned by some zombies <coughs> or not because it is a glitter boy and that's it the back is pretty much the same as the other book um, same information back here really the the newest thing is it just gives you the uh, you have the new palladium logo on there which is nice and riffs endless possibilities limited only by the imagination so there you have it i think this was uh 36 yeah 36 bucks it's a fantastic book it definitely weighs in a little heavier 30 pages heavier than the uh paperback version that's been out for years but uh even if that's the one you want to get <clears throat> i recommend picking up chaos earth if for no other reason it's a great read 
so I don't know I hope you enjoy taking a look at it do you guys uh, I know there's <clears throat> some of you out there that are palladium fans and some of you that hate palladium and that's fine but for those of you that are fans do you any of you guys or gals uh, play chaos earth are you fans of it um, if so tell me in the comments uh, what kind of games have you run with it or uh, hit us up on Rob's game group on Facebook and let me know there uh, I really really enjoyed uh, getting my hands on this book my son got it for me um, as soon as it finally went off a of pre-order um, so I was very happy to get it it came in last night and I was ecstatic because I didn't know it was coming uh, well I knew it was coming but they never sent me the tracking so I didn't know it had shipped <laughs> until it got here but yeah it's uh it's fantastic if you like palladium games if you like riffs and you have not looked at chaos earth then I highly recommend picking up a copy and checking it out. Well, I hope that you found something in that video useful or something you could take away from it. Either way, I appreciate you watching this long. Don't forget that we have the link to the Amazon wish list for Rob's Game Group in the description of every video now. You can click on that, check out the wish list. If there's product on there that you want to see me review, you can always uh, purchase it. Amazon will do all the work ship it to me and it helps me help you help me make videos for everybody to enjoy um, also like uh, share subscribe all that jazz and until next time my friends good gaming and good luck